Welcome to Look At Her, the Hey Queen After Show, where our super celebrity guest looks at some of the queens she's played with, slayed with, or even laid with, and spills a little El Te. El Te. El Scandalo! <laughs> <laughs> or throws a little, I don't know what the Spanish word is for shade. Just say shade, I don't know. Shade. <laughs> Tirando shade. <laughs> or just tells us something that we don't know. Today's guest is the iconic Valentina! Yeah. Yeah. And right here, you got your lap dance from Gerg is the Word. Oh, que lindo. You can Look find at him. him at Gerg is the Word on Instagram and Twitter, right? All right, now hop your little sexy ass <laughs> out of here. Thanks, Gergi. Bye, amor. Um, Valentina. Now, you said you were nervous for Look at Huff. It's kind of a lot for me. I'm not very public. I'm, I, when I said I was bad at social media, mm. when I won Miss Congeniality and all that, which I'm not Miss Congeniality, <laughs> I'd rather be fan favorite. I'll take it, girl. Yeah, um, honey. No, fan favorite makes more money. <laughs> it's just been, it's just been a, a whirlwind of a lot of things that I've lived in private. Mm. So sitting here, you know, I decided, you know what? I'm, I'm entering a new chapter of my life and my career, and I'm just going to be honest. Yeah. Um, but I was nervous. I was nervous today. They were, my makeup artist was doing my makeup, and I would just be, like, real quiet, just let them finish the eyeshadow, and then all of a sudden I would just get up and go, ah! <laughs> and I would just run around, and he'd be like, what the fuck? Like, what's wrong with you? Judge, I'm just nervous. I've never talked about all this. Like, what if it's, like, problematic? Because, you know, people like to come for me, Judge. <laughs> you <do>. know? <laughs> But, you know, we got through it. I'm here. I'm so happy drinking my champagne. Yes. Champagne. Valentina, are you ready to play this game? I'm nervous. Yes. We're going to go in. You this know what? Gonna and I'm going to be 100% honest for everything that I say. You know what? Great. Let's have some fun. Let's have fun. Let's look at her. All mm -hmm. right. Let us begin. Look at her. Ah! Aja, you're perfect. You're beautiful. Honey, that happened to you on the, what, the first episode, second episode? I don't even know when it happened. Uh -huh. When it even happened on screen, and she was like, bang, 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 I don't even remember it happened. Right. I was so focused that she said something and I just let her talk, uh -huh. and then it happened. I was like, okay, I'm going to say something about that, because as soon as I heard that it was going negative, I was just like, okay, let her go, let her do, and just keep focused, because you have to, you have to win. And so, in the moment, I find that like, that happened, right? I don't remember it. I don't even remember it, but right. I see it and I laugh. And there's <laughs> songs about it. It's iconic. It's uh, yeah. people, people, I think they like started to do like this, like they describe it not only in words, but with emoji, emojis. Um, yeah, exactly. And, 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 and when it comes to Aja, during that time, I think Aja had like some fixation for like coming for me or disliking me or whatever. Whatever it was, I, I wasn't even there for it. I wasn't even, I didn't even care at the moment. I was busy trying to win. And, and after a while, after a while, I'm like, why, why is she being so blah, 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 this and that. But at this point, you know, it's so far be behind us. There was a time that we did a show in New York and we got kicked out of our dressing room because the next performer was gonna come in. And we have it strictly in our dressing room that we are to have our own private dressing room because right. we were already sharing as it is. We got kicked out and shoot out. Like I was just literally got off stage and I was like, you have to get out. Wow. And I won't say who it is because the person I love, they kicked us out so quick and so disrespectfully like that we were just in shock because it was Halloween night. I oh, dressed up wow. as Aja for Halloween. Oh, right, I remember that, that was great. And so we got kicked out so quick and Aja was so pissed and so disrespectful because she was in New York City. We were in New York City, yeah. it's her hometown, nobody talks to her like that. And girl, we kiki that whole night and we partied and we got drunk and like, girl, we're not gonna let them talk to us like that, girl. We are not gonna let them We just got drunk, <laughs> we turned up, we danced the night away. And at the end of the day, like, what it comes down to is that we have so much love because we share a moment in our life together that makes us grateful to, to what do we get to live every day in our lives. You know, we yeah. have this platform. We have this moment in time on season nine that we can say, girl, we were there. Like, 
we were nobodies before that. And look at us now, you know, we're yeah. running with our hair blowing in the wind. And <laughs> I, I love Asha very much. Okay, look at her. Gia Gunn. <laughs> oh my God. Gia Gunn. Okay, Latina más Latina. Uh -huh. And I will say, the bitch fluently speaks Spanish. We were on All Stars 4 together. And my favorite, my favorite personal memory of Gia Gunn is just anything that comes out of her mouth is so problematic. <laughs> but so so charismatic. Yes. <laughs> um, and one of my favorite memories of her is being a fan of RuPaul's Drag Race, even being on it before, I sat and watched Darian Lake walk into the workroom and her go, oh, so there's room for everyone. <laughs> like just the way she's like, she says things. She just says that with like this, like, she don't give a fuck. And then, like, not only that, but like Gia Gunn is somebody that, Okay, I love telenovelas. I absolutely love the drama, everything, but there's something about telenovela villains that are so confident, so, like, they know how to go there, that Gia Gunn makes a really good villain, and I live for it. I love it. Everything about her on that TV screen makes me go crazy. <laughs> yeah. She entertained us on All Stars 4. Yeah. Oh, my God. If she was not on there, maybe it would be a lot more boring, but the moment she left, for me, as a viewer, as a fan, I was very, mm. very entertained. Um, her and I, she's, she's tried to contact me recently, but I've been so busy. But I try my very best to like, you know, touch base, see how you're doing, and anytime I see her, it's a kiki. Yeah. She's so sweet. What you wanna do is not necessarily what, what you're gonna, gonna do. do. I look so <laughs> ugly. She has those memes, and I'm literally standing right oh, behind no. her, looking like a troll, and I'm in every meme of hers. And although it's recognized for her, I'm in the background like, <laughs> it's so awful. Okay, <laughs> look at ah, Pheromone. Oh, you don't love me. You don't love me. Okay, let's start with that. Let's okay. start there. Yeah. The Drag Race reunion. Mm-hmm. That must was like a firestorm for it you. It was. It was a downfall. It was a tragic like decline <laughs> in my career. Right. Mm -hmm. And there was something about that event that just brought everybody out on that season, like snakes towards me, to just come for me, just like slay her. Right. You know, mind you, the day before we had shot the finale. Right. We shot it in L.A. I came out in the crowd, Sandy Bush, and roared. It was an energy that I cannot explain. Mm -hmm. Like, honestly, Josh, it was, it just went, <laughs> like the crowd right went crazy, right? And I think the next day, I don't know what the girls were feeling, but I remember the girls and World of Wonder all came for me because they were pushing this plot to oh. come for me. Mm. Everything. And all the producers, they were giving us alcohol, bitch. Of course. <laughs> so all the girls were shilling, feeling their sheave on tea. I bet they were. And any topic of conversation to come for me, they came. Uh -huh. And I sat there and I said, and anytime a queen comes for me, I let her take the podium, let your words be known, and I sit back and I let them talk, right? Uh -huh. But, you know, after so much, like, she was coming, everybody, a lot of them came for me that day. And they were I was coming, just coming hard. Coming hard. And I just, I felt so attacked. And I was like, I'm already not winning. Like, you know, <laughs> like, right. you know, if my fans want me to be Miss Congenial, they just want me to win something. I know I'm not that congenial. We all know Cynthia <laughs> should have won. We all know Peppermint should have won. But, you know, I can't, you know, they wanted me to win something. And, you know, I never got that, not even from Rua, not even from them. I didn't ever get the congratulations. I never celebrated my Miss Congeniality. Right. I kind of had it in vain, you uh -huh. know? So we transformed as Miss Fan Favorite and we ran with it. Right. Because for me to stand here and say that I'm congenial, it would take away the bougie of the diva that I am. Right. And the now French that, vanilla fantasy. Let's get to the moment where you're about to, you're taking your bow and <laughs> Pheromone is zipping in. Now on this show, she was like, I think she said, I was drunk and I shouldn't have taken her spotlight, but she did dip right in there. What was going on for you there? Well, we all have that one friend 
that would be like, sis, tone it down. Uh -huh. But they won't ever say anything, right? Mm -hmm. So Pheromone was coming for me. Like, I don't know why you didn't blah, 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 text me back, blah, blah. Like, that's something I didn't want to live on camera with her. Right. And I was like, sis, just we'll, we'll deal with this after, you know? Like, you know, like a good Judy would be like, simmer down, just not in front of people. Uh -huh. When we get home, we'll talk about it. Right. That's really what I was trying to do because um, we was, well, I mean, I drank one little glass of wine, but you know, anything that we needed, they were very attentive to let us know, here you go, uh -huh. have some fun. Yeah. This is the very end, enjoy yourselves, have a drink. She was turned, mm -hmm. my sister was turned. Um, but we've come a long way from that. Yeah, it seems like it. We did all sorts together, they tried to turn us, <laughs> right. all that. At that point you guys got, you were in on it, you know what I mean? Yeah, we were in on it, and not only that, but we've lived so many experiences outside of that. Mm -hmm. um, Pheromone is so sweet, and um, she's so honest with who she is, what she does, and I, I really appreciate um, our friendship, and um, I just hope that we can continue that way, you know? That's my home girl, and I hope to see her very soon. Love you, Josh. <laughs> okay. Look at Ha! For part two of Look at Ha, click here. For more incredible episodes of Look at Ha, click down here. And don't forget to subscribe! subscribe. <laughs>